introducing the Trotters for race number four. Fourth race, Trotters racing one mile, a purse of $3,500, a field of seven, the one is Blazing Dia. Owned and trained by Andrew Price of Lockburn, Dell Miller driving. The two China score owned by Fuller of Newark. Terry Van Roden trains, Ty Van Roden drives. Three Ombro Marino, owned by Bill and Nancy Myers of Dayton. Randy Owens trains with Mike Wilder. Number four, Hot Action. Owned by Tom Weber of Stryker and John Zimmerman of Defiance. Jim Daly, the trainer driver. Five, DJ Wally Wett, owned by Don and Gene McKeeve Newark. Jim Arley Jr. trains, Jeff Fowd driving. The six Crown Time Starlet, shown by the Crown Time Farms of MacArthur Earl Owings, the trainer Dave Miller, the driver. And a seven Vecadano, owned by Ray and Stephen Curtis of Delaware, Sharon and Kendall of Dublin, Ray Curtis trains, Don Irvine Jr. is in the Sonke. When play show perfect. Fourth race, condition trotters all on behind the gate. They're on the back stretch, and there they go. They're off and uh, trotting in Ombro Marino as first to fire for the lead. From the far outside comes Crown Time Starlet. From off the rail, it's Blazing Diet. China score settles in fourth. Han Action looks to angle in five. DJ Wallywood is away in sixth. The trailer is Vicodano. Around the first turn and heavily favored crown time Starlet now finds at the front. She takes a lead here too. On the inside, uh, Ombro Marino will let her go for the garden spot trip in second. At the rail is Blazing Dia. They reach the first quarter mile marker 28 and 2. Coming to the stretch, and the Trotters are in straight alignment. And on the front with a lead, crown time Starlet. She comes in from Ohio Sires at Northfield Park. Leading the way here too, Lanks. Armbro Marino to the inside as a patient second. Blazing Dia, a 20 to 1 shot at the rail in third. The longest shot of the board is trying to score, and she's in fourth. Inside of five to Hot Action. Then on the inside in sixth to DJ, DJ Wally Wet. And uh, here comes Vicadano now, and Irvine is underway from off the back end with a seven horse. They reach the half 59 and 2 as they move to the back stretch. And it's Crown Time Starlet, still a length and a half over. Ombro Marino is still a patient second, getting a perfect trip here. Blazing Dia is at the rail and gapping in third, and Vic Adano is now moving steadily to the outside. He was seventh at the half, but he's now third as they race into the final turn with Crown Time Starlet still leading the way, but Ombro Marino on the inside is right there, waiting a second. Three quarters and 129. Around the final turn in Crown Time Starlet. Has a lead by two. Armbro Marino setting chase in second. Blazing Dia looking for a big upset here. Trots third. Vicodano beginning to tire now as they swing to the top of the stretch. They've now lost than a 16th to go, and it's all Crown Time Starlet as she puts this feel away with ease. Inside, Armbro Marino settles for second. China score is a late closing third. 157 and 4. Ladies and gentlemen, trackside, the official winner of the fourth. Number six, Crown Time Starlet, a four-year-old Ohio bred daughter of Shimachar from the flawless child mare, Crown Time Star. A homebred owned by the Crown Time Farms of MacArthur Earl Owings trains Dave Miller into the Sonke. Crown Time Starlet recording her third of the season, her biggest win in her racing career, earning a mark tonight of 157 and 4. And that, ladies and gentlemen, puts her into with some elite company that equals the track record for four year old trotting mares here at the Side of Downs. She equals the record of the world champion grades singing Little Dory and Final Sunset and now it's a four-way tie for the four-year-old trotting track record here at the side of that.